Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfield. So, we need into there, the VIP ring, to track down this Catalina Rivera, who uh, I believe is this cruise individual that's a... Uh... Alright, son. Let me do me intro in peace, eh? On your way! Uh, yeah, <laughs> is this uh, cruise individual. Everybody wants to speak to me today, don't they? Okay, right, let's have a word with a couple of folks who are actually... Uh, Named. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time I wasn't breathing recycled air. I couldn't tell you the last time your friends around here didn't use recycled lines, but I don't complain about it, do I? This place is a far cry from Aquila City. That's for sure. Oh, okay. So she's from Aquila. Right. You new here? New ish. I've only been here a year, which, well, when you compare it against Dr. Darvish's career, it's not much, is it? I'm thrilled to have the opportunity, but it's been an adjustment. Very few cases here are simple, and most of them are medical emergencies. Hmm. Um, did it, there was mention last time of somebody that had been here for about two years and still felt like they were brand new. So it, when things kick off here, it seems like it's pretty intense. Do you ever get a break from it? I guess that depends on what you consider a break. We get some time to ourselves. We're not on call all the time, but we're never that far away from it either. Now that I think about it, I haven't actually left the clinic since I got the job. I actually hadn't really noticed. That's depressing. Um, don't you ever get homesick? No, not really. This is my home now. The people here are wonderful and the work we're doing is incredibly important. That's what really matters. Hmm. Seems like everybody here has got, sort of, a genuine want to help people. Nice talking to you. Yeah, likewise. Go take a break, will you? And to make sure visit home. Get oh, God, out of my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, right. Let's have a little bit of a nose around, shall we? So this is, uh, I'm not sure what this There's is. There's such a mountain of work. I could really use a hand. But I don't want to inconvenience okay? anyone. Um, let's have a little whisper with you. I don't think we've spoken to you, Ossian. Oh, this was the guy that was called to the front with, uh, I've forgotten her name now, but the boss lady, um, to, uh, berate that courier that came through. Oh, you look like I work here, right? A <laughs> couple of patients didn't seem to think so. Awkward situation. The white coat didn't give it away. What exactly do you do here, apart from trying to look like a doctor? Tending physician. I'm new here, so really what I do is watch Dr. Darvish's every move and Try to imitate it. Sounds a lot less impressive when I say it out loud. You're new here, so that means you've only been here for four years. Uh, so, who puts a hospital in space? Well, I mean, I think we already know the answer to that one, don't we? It, originally, it was the United Colonies. It seems to be a lot of United Colonies stations going up and then getting lost through uh, one way or another. But yeah, it was originally UC, but handed over after the... Oh, I know this one. Was it the, was it the Narian War? It's really a matter of safety, believe it or not. The types of things we work with here... Let's just say oh. you wouldn't want them spreading on a populated planet. In here, we're all nice and isolated, just in case. Not the most comforting thought, but it's the truth. Hmm, it's a little bit morbid to think that if something did break out, it's only all of the medical staff that are going to die, but... Yeah, it does make a lot more sense than putting it on a planet. Yeah, that's right, the, the restricted area that is sort of off on the other side of the reception oh, there. Oh no, looks like I'm losing you. No, no, just monologuing. Um, is researching advanced xenovirology, I think it is. Um, right, uh, yeah, you said you needed help. Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offense, of course. None taken. Oh. Hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the settled systems. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. Hmm. So if you could get this slate where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Uh, I mean, I don't mind. Let's see. Joseph Manning in Reliant Medical. Dr. Joseph Manning. We've probably met Dr. Joseph Manning, but I can't think off the top of my head where that might be. Um, I do need to go and revisit the Reliant Medical on Jemison, though. So maybe we'll call in. Uh, right. Um, I doubt we're gonna really pick much up here, Thanks so... Thanks for stopping by. No, no, thank you for entertaining me whilst I talk to myself. Um, hello. 
It's an MRI. I guess we'll never know. I'm no hypochondriac, but maybe we limit our time here with all the sick people. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, hello. Were you the boss lady? No, you're not. <laughs> I forget who everyone is. Without something weird. That's not too much to ask. You'd hope so. Um, but I'm beginning to pick up that there are some rather weird going ons. Right, going going ons, goings on, goings ons. How do you say it? <laughs> I've forgotten how to English. Need weird to shit sure happening. Um, you seem Excuse to have dropped your slippers. Me, but you're clearly in the wrong room. Are you? Oh, are you a? Uh, are you a patient? Excuse me. What gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Three Star Ranger, I'll have you know. Um, you seem tense. You hiding something? <sighs> There's a Free Star Ranger stationed here, and if you don't leave, I'll have him called in <laughs> to deal with you. Uh, I happen to be with the Rangers myself. I don't know what you could possibly want with me. Well. I mean, a little bit of courtesy would be a start. Um, you're in serious trouble, Maya. I guess you'd know it. I, I, I want to know where you're here. I want to know that. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Did I miss something here? Goodbye, then. Mind your step. Oh, okay. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, were you talking to him? Yeah, mind your step, Sam. Right, I get it. So we could go, with without the knowledge that we've already gained, we could have gone around accusing every single patient on the clinic of being Maya Cruz. Hello, this is my private room. Please leave. All right, yeah, I'm clearly wasting my time here. You're thinking about going into medicine. Just be really sure before you commit to it. No, I'm good, thanks. Uh, you're clearly not Maya Cruz. Neither are you. I kind of feel like I'm probably... We appreciate the company, but you might want to keep your distance. Yeah, I heard that. Um, Sam, what were you saying about being around sick people? Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to get around here. Ew. Oh, I approve of that. What are these? Oh, God. What are these? Oh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, before sealing inpatient overnight, examine medical pod for foreign objects, check vital connectors, ensure full insulation. Hmm. Okay. Scary. Anything of interest? No data slates? Nope. No nothing. Cool. Um, Storage. I will have a quick whisper with... I, I just get this nagging, gnawing feeling that if I don't speak to... They say uh, I'm ahead well, of schedule on my recovery. Uh -huh. I say they ought to make better schedules. Why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. Oh, bless. They all claim they're too busy. Seems like a nice lady. Um, don't you think their work is more important? Okay, they need to chastise her. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll keep it short. I'm here on Freestyle Ranger business. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what for. Unless you're here to track down that no account husband of mine, that is. Oh? You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. Hmm. So hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Should we maybe, you know, move things along here, ma'am? <laughs> Love that, Sam. <laughs> Enough of the sob story. Shut up. We've got things to do. Um, right. I don't really need to ask her any questions, to be honest. But I'm, I'm just intrigued as to what she's going to come out with next. You want to talk about questions? Uh huh. Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so-called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? Uh oh. I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, a sore back digestive problems, and, and, and all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. But these fool doctors can't figure it out. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Hmm. 
think I can. <laughs> um, you've, you've been here for three months so far. Pretty sure I have. But you lose track of time real easy in here. All I've got is these white walls to stare at and nobody to talk to. They're green. Makes the days feel, oh, just about endless. Um, so you didn't need emergency surgery. They haven't got you in any medication. You ever consider there might be nothing wrong with you? Well, no, I, I suppose not. At least not yet. But don't be surprised if I do. Once they figure out this alien parasite or virus or, or whatever it is that's gotten into me. You know, pretty healthy to me, to be honest. I, I, I don't think you're who we're looking for. If you're looking for someone who's done something wrong, how about telling these doctors to work on their bedside manner? Mm. If I'm going to be frank with you, it leaves a lot to be desired. I right. suppose that also means you don't want to talk to me anymore either? Well, go on then. Don't let me keep you. I thought the high and mighty Free Star Rangers were supposed to help others in need. If you ask me, I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Well, go on Oh my then. god, she doesn't stop. Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. Okay, it was a pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Quick, Sam. Run. Run. <laughs> right. Um... Hello! Hi there. You told me to stay away. Are you diseased? Hey there. Um, you a patient or are you just visiting? That I am, that I am. I'm lucky to be alive, apparently. Me and my brother here have been patients for going on, what, four or five months now? Good uh, lord. Huh. I, being the stronger and smarter one, am recovering quickly. Still sick as a dog, but the doctors let me... Roam around to visit my infirm brother here. He was in a coma for months. He's only now making some sort of recovery. Hmm. People really do stay here for a long time, don't they? I remember them saying that the the either the clinic itself, or at least this wing of the clinic, is for long-term patients. I suppose it makes sense. What do you think of the place? Well, I think it's all right. Seeing as how my brother and I would be dead if we never came here. Doctors are nice enough, treatments aren't too bad, and food's all right. Hmm. That doesn't mean I'm not counting down the days until we can leave. I'm itching to go back home. So what exactly happened? This genius brother of mine was begging me to go on a hike with him on Aquila. He's a real outdoorsy type, you know. Now, being a man of letters, I didn't want to go, but he just kept yapping. So... We go on this hike, right? We don't know where the hell we're going. Well, we got lost. Stranded with no food or water. <laughs> I told them to pack food and water, but the fool forgot. You meet any Ashton along the way? Well, we start scavenging for some food to sustain us and come across this uh, thing. Like a plant, but <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell the damn thing was. Looked tasty enough, so we ate it. <laughs> well, damn thing nearly killed us both. Turns out, we weren't even that far from the city, so we were found by some passerby, and here we are. I was lucky. <laughs> we got real lucky. Uh, are you sure you're supposed to be the smart one? <laughs> Let's not berate the poor guy. Um, yeah, at least you survived it. Yeah, well, not out of the woods just yet. Things have been pretty hairy for John here. But I think you're right. It'll take more than that to kill the Jilson brothers. <laughs> right, well, good speaking to you. Take care now. Yeah, and you. Um. Oh, dear, you do look in a bad way. <coughs> they say they've been here six months and they're still in this condition. Well, at least it can't get any worse. Uh, well, no, it definitely can, but... Trying to stay positive. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Hmm. Security threatening to kill people for caffeine. Slightly worrying. You're doing just great. Right. Do we have. You need anything. Just say the word. 
One of the docks will get you right as rain in no time. Bless. I like Rebecca. She's nice. She's one of the good ones. Ah, is that the boss? Yes, Lara Darby. She's the one that we spoke to who uh, had a bit of a chip on her shoulder about that courier. Um, hmm. I would love to go and have a little bit of a snoop around the secure wing. <laughs> Hello. Um, Can't let you through here. Oh. That's disappointing. Oh, that's very disappointing. Is that where you keep all the deadly stuff? No authorization, no access. Um, any idea what's actually back there? In the secure wing? No. But from what I understand, someone's paying to keep it that way. That's right. No one knows what's going on back there. Yeah, the whole wing is kept under wraps by corporate sponsors, isn't it? Uh, yeah, isn't this a bit overkill for Freestar? Hey, I don't make the assignments. I got a boss, and this is where I was told to waste my time. Hmm. Um, so why exactly is this behind locked doors? This wing is contracted out to a private business. It's not open to the general public. Not even standard clinic staff. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Keep your secrets. Excuse me, Sam. Excuse me, Sam. There we go. Uh, we've got the staff hey, area to have a little bit of a uh, a nose around, and then we need to work our way out a way to get uh, up into that VIP area. Oh God, it's you again. No. Close shave. This is a really cozy little break room. I like this. That I'm pretty certain is actually concept art for uh, for Starfield. Right, what do we got? Book! Nondescript book! Uh, what? Chapter 1, 8- I think this is an in-development book that was left in by mistake. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to see this. Well, riveting read nevertheless. Um, right, I won't steal the chunks choco and get myself into trouble. Some sort of schedule. Okay, nothing of interest here. Ooh, other than toast. Hmm. Tasty, tasty, toasty. Uh, what is? Okay, little side office. Who this belong to? What is? Who that? Look, I know some of you people think these safety protocols are a joke. Well, they are not. We could all die. Follow protocol. Record source, record type, record source, 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 source. Um, boring stuff. Stuff which bores the mind and the soul. Oh, hello. If you need assistance, please see ah. Arby Miller at the desk. Interesting. I think I need a word with you, sir. I believe this is the man I can get us yes. into the VIP. What do you want? Uh, excuse me. Uh, right. Hello. Hi. Um, great to see you. Uh, you're in charge of the VIP ring, wing, right? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid we don't take walk-ins. If you want a room in our VIP wing, you'll need to make arrangements in advance. Mm, wasn't quite what I was thinking. Uh, I could really use your help. I need to talk to someone in VIP. Good bet you've got a fugitive hiding in your VIP wing. Need to get into the wing. Don't ask why it's confidential. Hmm. Do we spill it to him? I kind of get the feeling he's the type where if he hears that he's harboring a criminal, he'd get all uppity and defensive and basically shrug the whole thing off. But then he's more likely to do that if we actually say it's confidential and try and openly keep something from him. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, but then he's probably also not going to have time for somebody just begging to get in. Yeah, we're going to have to come clean. Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? Deputy Asher. I uh, require your cooperation. See this? That's who I am. Open the door, pencil neck. <laughs> um, yeah, Deputy Asher, at your, mm, at your service sounds a bit... Mm, no, I don't like that. Uh, I just require your uh, your cooperation, if you please. And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. The answer is no. Oh. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. There's no progress that bureaucracy can't ruin. Sorry, Sam, are you peeing in a corner or something? Didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, God, we've got another persuasion. Um, you really going to cling to policy? Yeah, just, just hear me out for a moment. I'm a busy man, so make it quick. Hmm, okay. Persuasion six. Oof. Okay, we're going to have to go in with a mid-range one, I think. Help me protect the people of the Freeside Collective. Nobody else needs to find out about this. Maybe I should report your lack of cooperation. Yeah, nobody nobody needs to find out about this. I need to get in, speak to one person, and get out. 
You'll have to do better than that. Yeah, clearly. Um, wasting my time. Help me now and I might be able to help you down... Ooh. Help me now and I might be able to help you down the road. How would that work? Interesting. <laughs> That's hardly persuasive. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Okay, we're going to have to stick to the greens. Uh, innocent people could be in real danger here. That's not serious. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am. Ooh, we've got an auto persuade available. Right. If I could... Oh, man. Even if I use an auto persuade on a plus three, <laughs> that still means we've, we've got to bridge the gap with two more ones. Um, We know that there's an alternative way into the VIP wing because we could just go and swipe a key from this guy's office. So I'll stick with the plus ones and keep that auto persuade pocketed, I think. Um, the people I'm hunting for are murderers, Doctor. That's truly awful. Isn't it just? Uh, no reason for us to have a problem. Yeah, a lot of people might be in danger. Help you keep them safe. Isn't that your, uh, isn't that your duty? I don't want anyone to get hurt. It's going to take a lot of talking, isn't it? Um, okay, we do have a plus three that we could auto persuade on. We seem to be having a good run of the plus ones. Um, okay. The person you're protecting was complicit in the deaths of innocent people. I'm not denying that you make a good point. <laughs> I'm making several of them in a row, apparently. I took an oath to do no harm. I won't be the cause of anyone's suffering. You know, Key? There's one more. Tracking mercenaries who are cold-blooded killers. They will kill again. I Rubbish. fail to see how that's relevant here. <laughs> I think I've heard you enough. Dick. I've given you my answer, and I'm not changing my mind. You utter knob. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Doc. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? <laughs> That's what you get, Cassidy. Uh, don't like that, Dr. Cassidy. So, um, I think we need to root through his office. You saw nothing. Right, let's have a look. Uh, come on, come on, get in some. 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 Fine. There we go. Uh, yeah, guard the door, Sam. Right, so, this is Dr. Cassidy's office, apparently. Ooh. Uh. Right, I think. Really, Sam? Why would you do that? That's it, stay out there. I feel like that might be a subtle hint. Um. Might as well pocket it whilst I'm here. Oh, hold on. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's anything else in the office here that might be harboring a secure... Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Might be harboring a security key. No, it's got to be in the... Yeah, it's got to be in the safe, isn't it? Right, here we go. And it's only a novice lock. Bloody brilliant. Right, you are outside... Pins only, so let's see, where are you likely to be there, maybe? Nope. You are there with... Not you. With that, lovely. Then these two are inside, which is going to be there and there. Yeah. <laughs> what was Sam saying? Kind of worried me then, I thought... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, good job keeping uh, keeping a look out there, Sam. Right, brilliant. So, we have the key. Uh, let's continue to have a little bit of a mosey on round. What's that? Superfood paste kit. That sounds ever so appealing. Hello? Where's this? You didn't hear this from me. But those ecliptic mercenaries? Yeah, already slaughtered the loads of them. Use them sometimes. Ooh. Free Star Collective and UC both. What is? That's why they give them a wide berth. Hello, who are you? Clinic staff, okay. We've got robots here, so best not do anything out of line, like, whoa, okay, I'm not bringing a weapon out here, the security bots can deal with that thing. Besides, it actually seems fairly chill, okay, maybe it's a resident pet, probably a good thing that I didn't actually uh, attack it. Oh, we got a little storage room. Nothing of interest there by the looks of things. Really wasn't expecting a huge uh, huge storage area like this, to be honest. Right, any any fear of a data slate anywhere that might provide uh, a little bit of reading materials? I'm not looking into that. 
Yeah, it's barren. Hold on. Is that another door? It is another door. Oh, nuts! Could we have gotten... I bet that leads to VIP. I bet we could have gotten through... Uh, through that way. Oh, well. We have an access key. Uh, uh, I, I didn't say anything about an access key, Dr. Cassidy. On your way. <laughs> Run. Did I go everywhere? Yeah, I did. Right. So now we get to uh, slippity slide. Make sure that's not looking. Make sure that's not looking. Whoop. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Okay. It didn't really matter about the camera outside because there's one right there. So, VIP ward area. Clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical oh. company, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? hell? Moves. Jesus! Oh, no! Oh, I bet Cruz hacked the security system. She's turned all the, she's turned all the turrets against the uh, medical staff. Jeez! Right, how many rounds have we got for this? We've got a decent number of rounds for the, uh, the Revenant. What about the keel hauler? Slightly less impressive, but okay. We'll, uh, we'll stick with it. No, we won't. Actually, we'll go with the Kadama. No sense in wasting... Uh, sensing high value... Uh, wasting high value stuff on security turrets. Right, we've got another break room. With a space kettle! Uh, nothing of interest. <laughs> okay, interesting that it's still an offence to steal stuff from here. Although I will take a, uh, a tasty orange. Um, 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 um. Bathroom there. That's the ward that we just took a look through. Oh man. Okay, we got probably flammable gunk on the floor here by the looks of it. Store uh yeah, storage and bathroom. Fine. Who was this? Does, does this individual have a name? Nope. Clinic staff. VIP dock. Oh wow. So there were areas for VIP shuttles? I may have been mentioned of that when we were speaking to the boss outside, actually. Uh, now that I come to think of it. Basically a back door for the uh, the VIPs. Okay, looks like we're not getting in that way. Whoa! You dirty... Don't go in there, Sam! Serves you bloody right! Moron. Right, we've got to search for clues. Interesting. So it looks like Cruz has, uh, has skedaddled. She's made her way out by the looks of... Th would, would you mind? Thank you. She's made her way out by the looks of things already. She's uh, laid booby traps on her bed. I'm absolutely sure there's no more around. No, it doesn't seem to be. How does she slip a mine into a high-security hospital station? I have questions. Okay. Got a terminal here. This must be must have been where she did all her hacking from. Ah, modified terminal, that's why. Command override. Access mainframe. Install disruptor, which is what was picked up by the security system on the Freestar uh, terminal out there. Run disruptor. Operation successful. All other admin functions suspended. Disable. Patient terminal. Right, terminal access logs. Ah, see Rivera. Hold on. Dr. Cassidy. Interesting. Uh, user login, Dr. Cassidy. Upload patient vitals, records updated. Oh, okay, so this was probably for him when he comes in to actually monitor the VIP to upload his findings directly into the database. That makes sense. Treatment continues, but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Possibly some bad news from back home. Interesting. So Cruz received a slate. What's saying, I wonder? Access mainframe, under authorization, access granted. Status query, clinic, emergency rescue vehicle. <gasps> she went out the airlock. Dispatched, ready. CERV2, connection successful to CERV2. Initiate startup sequence. Flight readiness sequence initiated. Sakharov, destination set. Execute automated pre-flight procedures. Executing pre-flight procedures complete. <laughs> right, cool. So she disappeared out the VIP airlock and on her way to Sakharov. We're here to serve you. As a VIP guest, you'll enjoy the very best hospitality we have to offer. Spacious private chambers, fine cuisine, and the highest quality of personalized service await you here at the clinic. Your satisfaction is our highest priority. 
you can rest assured that we'll work hard to make your stay a comfortable and pleasant one. Your privacy is our priority. Here in the clinic's ex exclusive VIP wing, you'll enjoy the highest level of privacy and security that we offer. Well, yeah, definitely is very private here in the VIP wing, seeing as they managed to shoot up the uh, medical staff and nobody noticed. Access is limited to a select group of professional and court courteous clinic staff who are here to serve you. No information, including your presence here, will be shared with anyone beyond your attending physician and support staff. In addition, your medical records will be kept in our most secure database with the maximum level of protection from outside intrusion. Yeah, they didn't look to inside intrusion, though, did they? Here at the clinic, the brightest minds in medicine and the most sophisticated technology and research combine to ensure that you receive the best care anywhere. The promise of stress-free recovery is our commitment to you, our valued guest. Whatever you're here for, there's simply no better place to be. I'm really struggling with English today. So that's where she went. Hmm, right, what's our objective now? Search for clues. There are more. Hmm, okay. Perhaps I should not be so hasty. Oh, hello, data slate. Yeah, completely overlooked that. Urgent, read immediately. This must be the one that she received. Maya, the rangers are onto us. They're going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. Best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you haven't got much time. The operation's almost over. Thanks for helping see it through, and if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, I'm eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit. It's been an honor, Major Hull. Ooh, we're on our way to Sakharov. Oh, man. Whilst I'm here, <laughs> might as well steal the uh, medical supplies. Oh, do you know what? Screw it. Should I tell anyone about what's happened back here? I guess I probably should. Um. Hi. Yeah, major incident in the back. Uh, probably telling the receptionist isn't the best first stop. Uh. Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was crazy. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely means dozens, or take care. Okay, yeah, you're, you're clearly not the person I should be telling you about this. The Ranger? <laughs> At least? Tell me, uh, tell me you're interested you know, in what's going on. a good kid. I remember when I was a deputy, just starting out. Are you for See real? You I can't tell anyone that there's been a shoot up in the back. Thanks. Well, let's just, uh, let's just leave them to- It's a grav drive. I literally can't get here any faster. You know you were chewed out for hanging around and not actually getting to your destination on time. Maybe you should think about that. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I guess we'll just uh, leave them to discover that one of their uh, medical professionals has been shot up in the VIP ring. VIP ring? That's not a word. Right. So where be this Sakharov place? So it's an asteroid mine. I'm intrigued. Is that is that literally what it sounds like? A mine in an asteroid? Ship's no longer docked. We're free. Let's see where are we headed. We're going out system. Oh, okay. Pass Alpha Centauri. Sakharov it is. Let's see what waits for us there. So, this Major Hull, we heard that name a long time ago when we were speaking to the uh, the Marshal back in Aquila City, I think. Stars are rearranged. Oh, wow, look at this. It is literally a mine set into an asteroid by the looks of it. Yep, there it is. Whoa. Uh, hop, excuse me? Oh god, that's closer than I expected. Wow. <laughs> All right. I think I dinged the pain work there. Um, now what's this? Bonner? Right, it doesn't actually tell us, but I, I bet that that ship docked there is that CRV-2 or whatever it was labelled as. Um, <laughs> e ooh, Eklund Site CL-25. Eklund? Huh, okay. What happens if we hail? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting anyone to answer the doorbell, to be honest. Eklund. Interesting. So is this... 
I wonder if this is some sort of abandoned mine where Ship they is um, now docked. Perfect. Where they Need maybe gather thing. resources for shipbuilding? Intriguing. Okay. Where is everybody? Is everybody convened on a different deck again? Is there another staff meeting that I've not been invited to? D right, seriously. I see you, Sam. Although, actually, to be fair, you are headed the right way. We do need to go up to the uh, docking collar. Uh, well, that didn't work. Right. Follow me, Mr. Co. We are required elsewhere. It's going to be waiting for us here. Members of the, the first, I guess. Honor survey data added. Okay. Uh. Sam? <laughs> Am I going solo on this one? Okay, looks like. No. Ooh. Right, so this is Stroud Eklund as opposed to just Eklund. I wonder whether this was like a, a really, really old station from before the merger happened or something. I'm assuming there was a merger? Between Stroud and Eklund? Or were they always together, maybe? Sam's really not interested, is he? Okay. Fine. Right, I'm guessing that's the main way through. But I'll go and take a little look at the other... Uh, the other docking bay. Wait, that's green. Can we board another ship? We can! Clinic... Oh, no, we can't. Oh, rubbish. Yeah, Clinic Med Response. That makes sense. That's the other clinic ship. Sam's really not bothering this time, is he? <laughs> All right, then. Well, let me guess. Another mining suit. Yeah, as I expected. Why does nobody have anything decent in these display cases? Everybody's got a, a fascination with displaying mining suits. Right. I'm gonna keep this at the Reddit. Well, to well, I would if he was here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so baffled. Why is Sam not here? Did I dismiss him or something by accident? Sam? Hi. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. We're doing this now? My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Uh... Okay. You... Can I... Can we speak about this later, maybe? Of course, of course. When you have a chance, then. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't got many friends. Oh, God. So I, I can't actually... I got a level with you. <sighs> We're going to have to go through this. keep showing up. <laughs> <sighs> I just basically wanted to see whether he was following me presently or not, because he didn't seem awfully keen to actually stick to my heels. Okay, and Sam, if you insist on doing this now, we'll do this now. So, um, right. He seems pensive about something. Like, he, he's got something he needs to get off his chest, but he doesn't want to bring up. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, level with me. I've, I've got no reason to not hear you out. That, that means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There's a way to take the wonder out of space. <laughs> it was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium three accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. <sighs> yeah, I can imagine being a space truck is a pretty relentless job. Not a lot of uh, freedom. Oh, all the charm of accounting wrapped up in bureaucracy. <laughs> uh... You probably could have done a lot worse, to be fair, as the first job, but that does sound pretty dire. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Oh? Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but suddenly, God help me, it was fun. Okay. What was fun about it? Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. Mm. I hated it. But man, I tried. This... 
This was a rush. It was a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy. It felt like I was finally, truly living. Okay. Um, I can see the appeal of that. A little bit of a thrill, a little bit of rebellious streak against your dad. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. Mm. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons. Maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Wow. Yeah, lying to yourself to, to justify your actions. Um... Yeah, you you can't bear the responsibility of those lives that were lost. Not directly. And I tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Hmm. Never had a lick of trouble. Till I did. Mm. Caught up with you eventually. So, yeah, you were that good at it? At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Hmm. Um, didn't you know you were walking a very dangerous path? I'm sure there was probably some part of him that registered it, but... An even bigger part of him that just wanted to carry on partying hard and getting paid for it. I had booze enough and drugs enough to never really have to look too hard in the mirror. I knew if I did, I wouldn't like what I saw or where it was going. Wow. Does sound like your boss took advantage of you, though. Roped you in and kept you there. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Wow. Now, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs dual cannons and shouted, <laughs> Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. Oh... God, that was uh, good timing. Yeah, why? <laughs> I think you kind of already alluded to why, but why did you even try? It just felt right. Like this. This is what I was meant to be. And I was young, no care in the world. I thought, <laughs> what, there's only seven of you? <laughs> I like those odds. <laughs> crazy, literally crazy. But absolutely, could absolutely see you doing that. I'm not sure that I could. I think he seems to have matured and mellowed quite a lot now. He must have been incredibly relieved. Oh, take out fleet vessel with a skiff cannons is impressive as hell. Yeah, to be fair. I don't even know how I did it. Pure instinct. But it wasn't enough. And then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm and well. Hmm. It's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. Hmm. Sounds like your life path was set from that moment in more ways than one. And Lillian knew you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. Uh. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together, so, so that's it, nothing more. I'm not entirely sure what Ash is getting at here. Look, I'm guilty as hell of smuggling who knows what. And there are people I dealt with 
Bad people. They would recognize me. But I swear, I did more questionable stuff for the Rangers, under orders, mind you, than I ever did as a smuggler. Oh. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, you haven't done anything you're ashamed of once or twice. You haven't really lived. Real stupid stuff. Uh, you aren't that kid anymore. You're probably a better person. Actually, yeah, to be fair. Those experiences, I'd imagine, are pretty... Uh, pretty influential in, in a, a growing young man. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot. Fast. But the thing that scares me is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I can imagine. That's a toughie. She thinks the world of you. When she's older, the time is right. You have to tell her. Um, I mean, both of the top two options. Absolutely, you have to tell her, but only when the time is right. And she'll understand. I mean, you've been pretty much exclusively the only parent that she's known growing up. She's not going to suddenly think any different of you from learning about you. <laughs> Flitting around the, the settled systems, smuggling contraband. Um, but yeah, you are going to have to tell her sooner or later. <sighs> well, ain't that something to look forward to? Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else. Mm. And I really need to own that. And have a tough talk with Lillian. Tell her about that follow-through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well... For now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. <laughs> or wiping out a mining station filled with uh, mercenaries who are terrorizing the settled systems. Right, sounds like they're knocking on the door at the moment. Are you... What the hell? Who the hell was that? Uh... I suddenly don't feel very secure here. Right, Sam, are you actually coming with me this time? I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. So long. Right, yes, yeah, he's supposed to be following me. He's this not. This is where I belong. Oh, here he is. Did you just want to stop for that chat? Is that what it was? You were worried that I'd shout at you for being a naughty smuggler. Come on, Sam. You should know me better than that. Okay, so. Here's what I found, Sam. A crappy suit, a door that leads to nowhere, and then this. Shall we, uh, shall we do the honours? Ooh. Anyone there? No, <laughs> no one's waiting at reception, funnily enough. Right, lots of big-ass cameras, and nobody seems to be looking through them, which is kind of encouraging in a weird kind of way. Oh, Sam. Don't do this to me again, come on. Right. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> what that? That's kind of cool. Um. Heard your ship, Doc. If you are who I think you are, then you're here to bring me in. I had to warn you. I've had more than enough time to prepare for this. So either you leave now, or I'll be burying what's left of you. Well, that's very courteous of her to uh, actually offer us to leave. Right, I'm assuming she's going to be behind there because those controls are fried. Let's uh, let's check out security first of all. Oh, I suppose I should be watching for booby traps. If she's if she's mined a uh, mined a hospital bed, she's not going to be afraid to do it in a in an asteroid base. Well, that's got a master lock on it. It does have some tasty ammo and stuffs. Right, what do we got? Nom nom nom. Probably didn't actually need any extra health, but screw it. Right, no data slates by the looks of it. Nothing that can be used to our advantage. I don't think we're actually going to have an immediate need for uh, for a weapon, so I can probably safely put that away just for now. Anything of interest? Appears to be zero things of interest, but let's have a little go at this door. Master lock. Yeah, this, can, this is going to take a minute or two. I believe I've oh, cracked it. I think it's you. And you. 
Uh, then these. Oh, keep doing the wrong one. Those two. And uh, then you, followed by you. Oops. And then finally you and you. Wonderful Ooh, stuff. That there is cold. Uh, okay. You say so? Is this a freezer? I don't think it is. Okay, what have we got? Stuff, stuff. Uh, ooh, things. What have we got? Advanced Tesla Assassin Grendel. I'm not a fan of Grendels, but that sounds pretty decent. DPS 337? Yes. Love you, thank you very much. DPS of 220. No. Uh, you, you. Uh, my present. Right, we'll leave that. But that's quite a tasty Grendel. That's actually, uh, see how that stacks up. So, where's the Grendel that we just found? Here we go. Yeah, 337 DPS. That's not bad at all. That is, uh, where in the hell's my Kadama? That's, that's more firepower than my Kadama. That's nutty. And it uses the same ammunition. Right, well, let's take the Grendel for a little bit of a spin for a while then. Oh, what is that sight though? Okay, all right. Yeah, I think I found a, found a new toy, Sam. All right, let's uh, get the hell out of there for a while. So, ooh, we've got weird looking ore here. What's that? Cobalt. Hmm, all right. What in the world are these rocks? These dirty great big crystals. I'm going to investigate that in a moment. Right, emergency showers. Uh, nothing much. I wonder what the crystal is. Yeah, as do I. Really intrigued by that. Interesting that Sam's never has seen it seemingly either. Uh, yeah, I've learned from past mistakes that uh, putting my hand near this is going to be stupid. Look, let me prove it, Sam. Ow. Told you. Don't do that. That was really loud. Okay, ooh, hello, here's some of that crystal. Kind of glowy. I like that. Okay, I'm still not sweeping the floor for mines as I'm going, which is a bad move. Uh, anything of interest in here? Doesn't seem to be. Just seems to be a little bit of a uh, machinery room. Oh, mines. Great. She's brought some with her. Encouraging. Okay, well, we're obviously not getting in there, so I'm guessing we've probably got to go to the... the. I'm thinking probably that emergency wall panel over there and work our way around. But first, let's head upstairs. See, uh... Oh, hello. Here we go. Mineroos. Am I going to have time? to actually deactivate two of them on the bounce. One way to find out, I guess. But first of all, I can scan the floor. That's worrying. There's a, uh, a target on the floor. No turrets around, I hope. There doesn't seem to be. Got a mess room. Okay. Yes, because I need to be picking up more food. Uh, anything? Nom, nom, nom. Right, nothing of interest around here. Oh, there's a potato in there and I can't get it. Rubbish. Much disappoint. Okay, over here. Restrooms. Still no mines, I hope. Ooh, what's that? Hookah canisters. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll confiscate those just to keep them out of Sam's way. Who knows what the uh, mischievous devil might get up to. Only kidding, Sam. They're actually for my recreational use. Uh... Mm, very grotty around here. Don't like this. Simpler times. That new? Uh, I think this might be new. The foreword to a non-fictional account of life in New Homestead. Collected from residents over the years. Originally published in 2324, six years ago. New Homestead, isn't that... Am I right in thinking that's on one of the moons of... Wait. Is it on Titan? If anyone tells you the title of this book... Um, like the title of this book, that life back in the early colonies could be described as simpler times, they're full of it. The title, thusly, is a repudi repudiation of the idea. You'll see the claims in various forms of media, brochures, and other corporate devices that life was somehow simpler than we have it today. The portrayals in such serials, uh, series as the old family show Hab on the Ice, for instance, paint an idealised perspective of New Homestead that couldn't be further from the truth. Life was never simple here. The people you're about to hear from dating back to the mid-2100s provide a unique insider view into what it was really like on Titan. I was. 
You'll read about their struggles in the New Frontier era, as well as more, rec uh, more current accounts of what it's like to preserve that veneer while dealing with a galaxy that has moved on. Forward by Amelia Sigurd. I think I've read that before, <laughs> but oh well. Um, it does remind me though, I am stuck. Oh. Uh, hello. <laughs> I don't like the look of that. The hell came through here? Okay, I'm suddenly slightly concerned. Um, yeah, what I was trying to say was, goodies. Um, I really do need to uh, meet up with Hella again at some point. It's been an age since I've seen that guy, and I'm sure he came from New Homestead originally. Break room, okay. <laughs> suddenly feeling that I have to be a lot more cautious as I'm creeping around this place. Feels like there could be something on the loose somewhere. What's that? Old Earth flip lighter. Bless. Many clothings. Miners. Green New City. Dump. I think I'm going to need a stiff drink for this. Okay. Anything here. Anything that could tell us what the hell happened to this facility. Anything that could give a clue as to what might be, uh, might be lurking in the shadows. So, okay, come on then, Sam. Let's head downstairs. Steady as you go. Now, what am I going to do about these mines? Um, I guess I could sneaky from this side so that the far one doesn't pick us up just yet. Oh. Oh, nice. I can actually get within stealing range without triggering them. And that was what? A Tesla mine? Huh, okay. Right. Oh. And what precisely are you? Dead. That's what you are. A guard hopper, eh? Well, I do like this uh, this new little toy of mine. Right, let's check this thing out. Okay, just got some structural material. Bone. All right, guard hopper. Cool. Uh, so, let's see about getting this puppy opened. Oops, completely missed that one. I hear a bot. I hear a robotty boy. Where be the botty? Ah, well, <laughs> that's a giveaway. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, tell you what I haven't done for quite some time is actually sorted out my throwables. Do we have... Oh, we don't have any sort of EMP or Tesla grenade, do we? I don't know if that's even a game. Even a game. <laughs> is that even a game? A grenade's a game. What counts as a game these days? I don't think that's even a thing in this game. What I was trying to say. Shrapnel grenades. I suppose we could go with a shrapnel grenade. I don't much oh hold on energy incendiary grenade has energy damage oh that's interesting impact grenades are really explosive they're twice as powerful as uh as a shrapnel grenade right let's get some incendiary grenades on the go then because apparently that might be um that might be worth it against a rowboat oh rowboat whoa hello rowboat no rubbish this new gun, on the other hand. <laughs> Absolute slaughter fest. Love that. There'll be plenty of mechanical parts around. We need those. Why? I mean, you. Yeah, to you're the not. Victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? Uh huh. Kind of good to me. All right, nothing else. Is there anything up here on this side? No, okay. No, no, don't worry. Whoop. Have your heads up. Mining lasers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. really? What is this stuff? Whoa. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Knock once if you hear us spirits. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, really no. 
Uh, right, I did see one of those um, robo pups down there. In fact, you know what? Might as well take it out from a distance. Stop it from charging at it. I tell you what, it's pretty well armored. Whoa. There we go. We have dispatched the foe. Look at that little hab down there. Interesting. Wonder if, uh, wonder if anyone's holed up there. There's a robot in there that hasn't yet deployed, by the looks of things. I did see another, another identif- Oh. Wait. Hold on. Is that electric effect coming from this thing? <gasps> Tesla rounds, what? Okay, so hold on, let's read this properly. Grendel advanced Tesla assassin. Oh, of course I did read Tesla. Um, plus 10% damage against humans, randomly deals radioactive damage and demoralizes the target, and rounds will sometimes emit electricity when they land that damages and slows nearby targets. Oh, this thing's beautiful. <laughs> so hold on. When they land, Oh god. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> I'll take it back. I'm not sorry. That was funny. Okay. Um, tell you what, you take the stairs. <laughs> Walk that electrocution off. <laughs> what, the enemy or me? Oh, that was funny. I did enjoy that. Oh, little creepy crew. Hmm. Where have you gone? There you are. Oh, you multiply. That's a cool trick. Oh man, I love that that electrocutes. That's so cool. Zero wire on you. Uh, right. Dead end. Hello, Sam. Sorry, you got off. You got over your uh, your shocking experience there. Ooh, another one. Hello. The sight is pretty damn nice on this thing as well. Oh, where does this go? Does this maybe... Is that maybe the other side of the door that was... Uh... No, this would be too low to be the other side of the door that was... Um, that had the controls fried, I would have thought. That's... Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let's update your IFF. Protect current user. Activate units. Lovely. We can do a little bit of a sweep whilst we're away, just to make sure that there's no other um why can I not jump? No other adversaries. Ooh. Okay, terminal there. Oh, hold on, red cable. Red cable that goes all the way down to that door. Right, okay, so that terminal in here. I hear you! There you are. Come on, guard plopper. Oh, that's too good, that Tesla effect. Hello. Oh, hello. Space trucker helmet. Uh, analyzer. Epic. What? How much carrier space have I got? 145 or 173. Nice. We'll take that. Bolstering grants up to 100 energy resistance and physical resistance the lower your health. Plus 10% damage to scan targets. Nice. We are picking up some tasty loot around here. Might be worth me switching my helmet out, actually. So we've got... So it's a space truck helmet for a space truck helmet. And in, to be fair, this one goes with the Eclipse armor a little bit better. You've got to admit, I mean, aesthetics are everything in the uh, in the future in space. Um, has significantly better resistances as well. Oh, bloody hell. That's a no Wait, hold on. No, that's the one we're wearing. Oh, that's the one we picked up. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> And this also gives us 15% damage protection from human enemies. Okay, we'll keep hold of this for the time being, I think. Right, again, need to be checking for mines in case she's been here. Wait, why is that? Ooh, there's a heat leech on the floor here. Okay. Why is this all sort of cordoned off? That's kind of weird. An adhesive? What's that? A vial? Right, that's, that's mighty suspect. Uh, let's see what we got here. Diggly pick. Um, nothing else. No, 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 no. 
Right, so these glowing crystal shards were being analysed quite closely by the looks of it. So do they hold some sort of bizarre property, I guess? Well, let's see what the uh, see what the terminal holds in store for us. Oh, it's locked. Uh, oh, nice and easy, though. Right, that's in us, so let's throw you... You've got to go around this way, which means that we need maybe you. Cool. So then these two are for the outer ring. Lovely. What do we have? Door control. Okay. Yep, that opens that door that I... Uh... You were doing the thing? Hell, I got no idea how hackers speak. Hacking. <laughs> it's literally all there is to it. You basically said the word. Hacking, Sam. Uh, I thought I heard something creepy crawling around then. Right, just in case things go belly up, drop a save there. Head on through. So this is... Oh my god, is this going deeper into the canyon? Hi. Bye. My god, that got the electric effect and the uh, and the irradiated effect. We're doing all right for ammo as well. It doesn't seem to chew through ammunition as fast as some other uh, weapons that we've used in the past. Oh, hello, automated defenses. Watch out for defenses. And for mines, and for guard hoppers. Hello. Right, what's this way? A little outposty bit here, with a walkway going down. I don't feel quite so bad now about those. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that looks quite like quite the drop. Uh, I don't feel quite so bad now about um those scratch marks that we saw in that bathroom. Because I think. It might just be the guard hoppers, which, I mean, they're kind of proving themselves to be not all that scary. All right, again, searching for mines. I think we're in the clear, though. Okay. Ah, oh, plushie. Hello, Will B. Anything? Mm, things totaling zero. Oh, there's some things. Nothing there. Star room spacesuit, helmet. Oh, very lovely. But uh, not of particular interest. Anything on the centre here? Doesn't seem to be. Right, interestingly, we can't pick up any of these blue crystals either. I kind of wanted to maybe take one with me as a bit of a memento. Although, seeing as this place is deserted and there's plenty of blue crystal left behind, maybe it's a good thing that I can't actually take them with me. Maybe there's a reason why uh, they were all abandoned. Okay, uh, it looks like we're heading down and potentially not coming back up. <laughs> right, ready yourself, Sam. Uh... Whoa, whoa. There we go. Lovely stuff. Coming down, Sam. I'm sure he'll work his way down here eventually. Oh, <laughs> well, one way to make an entrance. Oh, oh, more claw marks. Is there a body down here? I feel like there should be a body down here. No? <laughs> really? Okay. Hmm. Felt like there was going to be a corpse. No corpse was to be found. Well, yeah. Ooh, hello. Expert log. This one looking particularly challenging. Uh, right, let's see. How many we've we got for outer? Several for outer. Not quite as many for the inner ring, though. So let's work from inner outwards. That's a single. We're going to discount that one, because usually singles are a red herring. Although that could go with a single on the inside. Right, so those two for the inner ring. Let's go for the next one out. Uh, you and you would go with, quite nicely with you, I believe. Yeah, that works. 
So then just the outer ring to go. Okay, this is uh, going surprisingly well, it has to be said. Um, I could go with that. And a single, actually, just to be a bit of a filthy cheater. New and a single there. And the next one was going to be that one and that one. And then the inner one is you and you. Fox must hate you. I'd say lots of people hate me, Sam. Um, lots are the least of my worries. At least they don't shoot back. Oh, harvested organs. You. I know I said that I uh, wanted to maybe dabble in some illicit goods, but I draw, draw the line at bodily... Uh, bodily parts. Right. Uh, are you in, Sam? Yeah, good enough. What the hell is this take? Whoa! Bad news. Great. Ooh, Sam! It'll take more than that. <laughs> Dickhead. Oh, God, he says. Where was that one? Oh, there. Well, you walked towards it, Sam. Enjoyed the light show. I've searched for mines literally everywhere else and in the most obvious place down a ramp and into darkness. And I just don't even bother sweeping. Right, any down here? If we get ourselves a nice cozy campfire, you can have a good time in a cave. Um, <laughs> excuse me? Okay. Is that how uh, Cora came to be? Hello over there! Oh, you're a boss, are you? Three health bars? No, we won't worry about that here. I see you. Right, any more mines? Doesn't seem to be. Right, we've got a bot here. Looks like this place has probably been abandoned for quite some time. Because a lot of the bots seem to have just kind of keeled over and just uh, shut down after a time as opposed to being destroyed by anything. Unless, of course, they were blown up by uh, by Maya Cruz as she passed on through. She's obviously been here because of the uh, the fireworks that she left behind for us. Any more of those? Doesn't seem to be. Weapon case, what have we got? Uh, some ammo, I'll take that very nicely, thank you very much. Shotgun shells, very good, very good. Right, there's an elevator leading... Wait, down? Oh, God. We're going further down? Let's just check over here. I'm sure that there was a little yeah, a little pathway over this way. Oh. Wait. Why is there so much junk piled up? That's interesting. Has she been camped out here for a while? Hmm, okay. Right. You, 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 you any good? Nah, not really. All right, Sam, joining me? No, okay, I'll see you down there. Bye-bye. <laughs> Locks hate me. Enemies hate me. Sam hates me. Oh, I saw movement. The robot. There's a row, row, bottolo. Whoa. I think it would have actually spotted me from that. Whoa! Jesus! Mining turret? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, this cover is providing absolutely no protection. Right, that's down. One X. Oh yeah, they don't do anything. <laughs> oh, they do? Okay. Right, I'm getting shot from up here. Oh, there's another one. And what's that to the right above my head? Is that another mining laser? Yes, it is. At least we've got a bit of cover from this one. Well, to an extent. Jeez, they hurt. Right. Oh. No. Right, that one's down. Woof. Okay, because I do not fancy... Uh, what have you spotted? Oh, okay. 
robots merging into the stairwell there by the looks of it. Let's see if I can drop a quick save. Yeah, just in case worse comes to worse. I don't really want to be doing this battle again. I have no idea what that robot's doing, but not doing it any longer. <laughs> that was oddly satisfying. Oh God! Get your blood pumping, huh? Gets my blood spilling on the cave floor. Thankfully, I think we're out of its range. Nice. Right. I think we're clear for now, Sam. Oh, let's have a little mooch around. Right, what way down there? Again, I should really be scanning for mines as I go, but um, live dangerously and all that. It's a big place to cover. Anything of interest? Oh. Where are you looking? Oh, God! Okay. Not too difficult. Looks like that's probably where we're headed, and there's another red cable leading off into the distance, so we'll track the, uh, the origin of that down in a moment. Can we... Is there a panel on this one? Yes, there is. Let's get this thing online. Patrolling on our behalf. Be a little bit of an early warning system. Right, looks like that is where the tail end of the controls for that door are. But it itself is behind a sealed door, so... The hunt continues. I'm still really intrigued as to what the hell all this stuff is. Don't need that. I don't think... There's much else of interest around here, which uh, in itself is interesting, because that means... Oh, I see. I've got to get up there and then presumably down an elevator. Nope, because that wouldn't even take us into this building. Oh, into there. Okay. Oh, that's just a strut. Right, cool. Well, that's where we're headed then. Come on in, Sam. Let's head on upwards. This is, I have to say, a particularly cool cavern. And then Samwise. On your guard. Could be more foes ahead. Stuff. Things. Things and stuff. Enemy robot just hanging out. Yep. You know what, Sam? Remind me to listen to my own advice in future, eh? Anything else? Any more for any more? I think that's about it for the defences. Right, lovely stuff. Anything else around? I thought I heard what sounded like a... Um, something counting down, like a mine tickety ticketing or something, but uh, all in my deranged imagination, apparently. Alrighty, right. Whoa! Jesus, hello! Whoa! The hell is she armed with? <laughs> like, three rounds and I was down! Oh, no. That, okay, that's actually not put us that far back. <laughs> Thankfully. Holy crap, Maya! Jeez, right. I'll take these down and get back up to the top of that tower. This time I'm going to do something that I should have been doing all along and I have done very, very rarely, and that is actually take some... Uh, take some stims and see what we can actually do. Uh, plus 20% health, plus 200 damage resistance for four minutes. Yes! We'll take a heart plus, thank you very much. Uh, what does this do? Oh, plus... Oh, rubbish. Right underneath it was a plus 300 damage resistance. Plus 200 should be good, though, surely. Um, we've got this one. Plus 40% range damage, plus 35% weapon accuracy, minus 50% movement noise. Ooh, that's what? Panopticon. That's handy. Especially if we're, uh, if we're wandering around with 
some sort of ranged sniper weapon. That'd be very, very cool. Uh, right, is there anything else that can really top what we've just taken? Oh, drinks seem to boost us. Plus 75 damage resistance for six minutes. But we uh, we drop on O2 recovery. Yeah, why not? A little bit of stout for Dutch courage. Okay, we will take a quick save. Slice our way in. Hello, I am Maya. Whoa. Oh, nice. She was a lot easier that time. <laughs> Amazing what some hard drugs and incendiary grenades can do for you. Right, if you could clear it now, thank you very much. Hi, Maya. Hi, we've been looking for you. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. Kind of thought I had. Uh, I'm not here to kill you. You seem pretty eager to die. Uh, right. The first must have a base. Tell me where it is. Yeah. We've got a base. A good one, too. Spent months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Well, I'm something of a detect detective myself, although I can't speak at the moment. Uh, why is the first season farmland? Because uh, that's what we were hired to do. Oh. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, who hired the first... I thought they were acting under their own influence, but they're doing jobs. <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Well, I don't like the sound of that. So this is about revenge or just about a paycheck? Of course it is. We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! All right. Ah. Calm. You'll bust a gut. Don't forget you're full of bullet wounds. Just like most of our unit did. Right, uh, back to business. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. Um, yeah, you seem pretty eager to die for, for your cause. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? I'm just not stupid enough to deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> hmm. How has life kicked you around exactly? I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. It wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not leaving until I get some concrete information about the First. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. Hmm. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Uh, I'm not exactly known for my slate cracking skills, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, the, the things come up. Give it to Alex Shadid. Um, should we be leaving her alive? <laughs> Sam, <laughs> help. You know, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. Right. Doesn't exactly answer my question, but I can kind of take that as approval of leaving her here? Goodbye. I guess. Mm, yeah, we've only got to get the slate to, uh, to Shadid. Oh, man. Do I... Do I leave her to, uh, to see herself out the door on her own terms? On your terminal. Oh, remote turret control. Kind of, uh... Yeah, I was going to say. Kind of irrelevant now. 
I don't know why I chomped that sealant. Oh man, what to do? What to do? Oh. Oh, she's well out of it. Okay. Got her own little private bathroom. Well, I guess I've riddled her full of holes and she's covered top to toe in, uh, in third degree burns. So I guess we just, well, leave her behind. All right, let's uh, see ourselves out, Sam. Is this a handy dandy shortcut? I feel like it probably is. Come on, Sam. Get the hell out of here. Or you can stay there. That's fine. Oh, hello. Those big doors have just creaked open. Oh, did I forget to re-pick these up? I did indeed. What am I like? Right, is there anything foul waiting for us back here? No, that robot's already downed. Where's this taking us? This is completely new. Just in case. Ooh, hello. Target practice. And what's in here? Industrial crate. Just goes to show you that sometimes the good guys come out ahead. Yeah, it happens once or twice uh, in a blue moon. Nothing more of interest there by the looks of it. Looks like robot parts. Many, many robot parts. Many bullet holes. Ah, interesting. I wonder if the first used this as some sort of base of operation for a little while. And Cruz was the only one that was left behind. Maybe the others fled for uh, for one reason or another. Or judging by that slate that Cruz was... Uh, was given when she was at the clinic. Maybe the, uh, that's, oh, interesting. That's the first safe that I've come across that's just been unlocked by default. Maybe the rest of the first were stationed here until very recently, um, but were away on some sort of mission, but then caught wind that the, uh, the Rangers were after crews. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here. Is this going to take us to that other access? Yeah, this is the uh, secure access door that takes us straight back to the entrance hall. So, we're good. We can put weapons away. Yeah, here we are. Right. Well, that was quite the adventure, wasn't it, Sam? Aren't you glad you finally joined me in the end? After our little chat. Well... Back to the ship, back to Aquila City to hand this slate over to Shadid. See what we can glean from it. But in the meantime, thank you very, very much for joining me. Tell Cora we're back. Much appreciated. If you would like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then pop those in the usual spots down below. And uh, pop on over to the Discord as well. It would be great to see you. The link's in the description. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you very soon. Bye-bye now.